Do you know how to process 20 tonnes of soybeans per day? We do. We have both the answers and ready solutions. So let's get started. Soybeans are the oldest cultivated plants in the world. Mankind has been using it for about 4,000 years. Soy is a high value material for animal feeds and food production. It contains up to 42% protein and 25% oil. However, soy needs special processing, the reason being anti-nutrients. Soybeans are processed for different purposes and with the use of different technologies. We offer effective soybean processing technology. It all starts with the preparation of the raw material. Step number one, soybean dehulling. The soybeans, cleaned from impurities and dried up to 8%, are fed to the dehuller mill. Here, soybeans are compressed between the first pair of rollers. As a result, the shells burst and the soy kernels break up into several parts. The mixture of soy kernels and hulls move to the transportation system and air separator. Soybean shells have a light specific weight. That's why airflow moves husks up and outputs them through the cyclone. As a result, this process reduces the amount of fiber, increases the fraction of protein mass, and improves the oil yield. The soybean kernels are discharged from the air separator and fed into the extruder. Step number two, processing soy in the extruder. The feedstock is conveyed forward by the screw inside the extruder barrel. Due to the high shear, it is compressed, mixed and heated. The soy is processed in less than 30 seconds. Under the great pressure and high temperature, any harmful substances and microorganisms are destroyed. At the same time, protein and fats don't lose their properties due to the short time of cooking. The product we've got is a full fat soy meal. With the help of the screw feeder, it's fed into the mechanical oil press. Step number three, mechanical oil extracting in the oil press. The product is moved along the press cage, being squeezed and pressed again. Under the pressure, the oil seeps out through the press cage gaps and is gathered into the oil reservoir below. We also get press cake. With an oil content of 7 to 8 percent and a temperature of 120 to 130 degrees Celsius. Step number four, cooling the oil cake down. The oil cake is fed into the cooler. The cooler's tumbler rotates and stirs the oil cake down to the discharge section. The fan creates a flow of air through the raw material. Heat exchange occurs between the cold air and the hot oil cake. After the oil cake has been discharged from the cooler, its temperature is 10 to 15 degrees higher than the temperature in the shop. The achieved oil cake is ready for storage of up to three months. Only four simple steps and you get the perfect ingredient for use in the feed industry. No solvent extraction, only mechanically pressed oil, high protein full fat soy meal and soy cake. In conclusion, let me remind you that high temperature and short time cooking is the key to successful soybean processing. Use our technology. It's available and reliable. Thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe.